Hey guys, it's Memorizing and Chu, and today I'm gonna cover Broshaja Legion Raid Hard Mode Gate 1 and Gate 2. I will only go over the patterns and gimmicks that are different from the normal mode. You can check out the links in the description for the normal mode guide. Then let's get started. Gate 1. For the battle items, it will be pretty much same as normal mode. You bring the correct items depending on which side you're assigned. There is nothing different compared to normal mode. Kill the dogs, use Thyrain on the next stage, and DPS the each bosses until they combine. Major Gimmicks Around 85 HP bar, safe zone gimmick happens. In hard mode, you have to stagger the boss first, and then go to your x3 position to be safe from the wipe attack. Around 43 HP bar, counter gimmick happens. Use a Xena to kill the mobs around the map before the gimmick starts. Unlike normal mode, the person who succeeded the counter cannot use any skills, and there will be clones shooting arrows from random directions. People who got silenced have to tank the arrows, because if the arrows reaches the center, then it will explode and hinder the rest of the players from countering. If the counter is done for 6 times, then that's the end of the gimmick. If you fail the counter, it will do massive damage to all the players. If you fail twice, it wipes the raid. Normal Patterns Stagger or Retaliation The boss curse himself. If it has stagger check, stagger him. If not, then stop the DPS since he will retaliate if you attack him. Gate 2 Battle Items For the Procal player, Time Stop, Frost Grenade, and Sleep Bomb. For the outer side, Time Stop, Whirlwind Grenade, and Sacred Charm. Procal will have 160 HP bar. Let me go over the major gimmicks on the outer side first. In hard mode, when the Procal's HP reaches around 156 HP bar, the knight will be spawned on the outer side which darkens the view of the Procal player. Make sure to kill the knight as soon as possible. 3 Red Orbs In the normal mode, the 3 artifacts disappear even if 3 players who got the red orbs do not touch the artifacts. But in the hard mode, if the artifacts are not removed by the 3 players, then the artifacts will explode and wipe the raid. There will be nothing different about this gimmick compared to normal mode if you've been already using this way to clear it. Red and Blue There's nothing much different compared to normal mode. Some of the orbs around the upper side will give you a yellow mark. For those who are yellow, they have to stay away from the red and blue field to survive from the gimmick. Stagger and destroy 4 orbs. After the stagger, orbs will spawn on each 4 side. Unlike normal mode, there are 3 black orbs which have to be sniped by the boss. You have to gather the orbs in line by using auto attack. If there is a bard in the team, then she can gather the orbs by using freeze tripod from the sonic vibration skill. Gather the orbs and stand behind them. Then dodge the laser when the mark above the character disappears. You can also see some purple orbs on the field. These orbs will explode which will most likely kill the players nearby, so stay away from these orbs after destroying all the orbs on each four side. Red Orbs Evacuation There is nothing different for this gimmick. Destroy the red orbs and evacuate the wipe attack by going in. After that, the second knight will spawn on the field. Kill the knight as fast as possible to remove the darkness debuff on pro kill player. Normal Pattern Retaliation The boss curls itself. If no one attacks during the action, then it will strike the other side. If it gets attacked, then it will attack twice that stuns the players. This is why you need Sacred Charm to cleanse your party mates. This time, let me go over the pro kills pattern. 3 quarter AoE attack. The boss strikes range of 3 quarter on front side. He attacks twice in the hard mode. Spear stun. The boss pierces a lot more spears in the hard mode that stuns the player. Pizza. Aura surrounds the field in the hard mode. You will receive damage with slow debuff if you try to go out. Dodge the pizza in the surrounding. Standing on spear. The boss jumps on the spear and strikes the front which stuns the player. In hard mode, he can also jump to the floor which AoE stuns inside and outside in sequence. Watch carefully what he does. If he tries to jump, then dodge it from outer side to inner side. Retaliation. The boss poses retaliation. If you hit him, then he will strike the front which will stun the player. Freeze and grab. The boss freezes the player and combos into the grab. You can dodge the grab by facing the wall. Throwing dagger and wipe. The boss throws dagger for several times and wipes the field which most likely kills the player. 
In the hard mode, he will be immune to two different status conditions during the pattern. There will be some effects that shows you which status conditions he is immune to. While dodging the dagger, you have to watch closely since effects are not easy to tell. In this case, he is immune to fear and freeze. So you have to use the skill or battle item that works on him. Well guys, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and hit the sub if you liked it. Then see you guys on the next video. Bye bye.